What's up guys? This is the uh, next lesson after the key of G and uh, we're going to learn how to play in the key of G sharp or more commonly called the key of A flat. Okay, so A flat, G sharp, same thing. Alright, the G sharp scale doesn't work out too well when you try to match up the notes in a consecutive pattern so we're going to look at A flat. Okay, so first of all let's uh, figure out the notes in the A flat scale. I'm going to start on A flat, the fourth fret, top string. Okay, and do two whole steps and a half step, three whole steps and a half step. And we have an A flat, then B flat, and C, then D flat, then E flat, then F, G, and A flat. Or you can do this on the major scale. Okay, and you can find the notes that way. Okay, so if we're going to play in the key of A flat, what we're pretty much going to do is just take all the chords that we learned in the last video in the key of G, capo the first fret, moving all the chords up a, uh, a half step. Okay, so when you play G now, it becomes an A flat. Okay, when you play A minor, it becomes a B flat minor. When you play B minor, it becomes a uh, C minor. Okay, when you play a C, it becomes your D flat. When you play a D, it becomes your E flat major. When you play your E minor 7 or E minor, it becomes your F minor 7 or F minor. Okay, then you have your G half diminished, G fully diminished, which you find on the 5th uh, fret, G half diminished would be... Uh, Muting out the top, muting out the next one, then playing five, six, six, six. G half diminished, G fully diminished, would be the same thing as if you're playing five, six, five, six. Okay? So that's pretty much the key of A flat. Okay? <clears throat> you can also do this by capoing um, other frets and using uh, keys such as like. E and A. If we wanted to use E, we would take the key of E, move it up one half step, two half steps to F sharp, another one to G, then another one to uh, G sharp, which is A flat. Okay, put the fourth fret, and now all the chords in the key of E are the chords in the key of A flat. Okay. So using the capo is very important when it comes to the key of A flat. You don't want to play a bunch of bar chords or a bunch of hard chords. You want to play a lot of the same shapes that you're used to playing. Okay, so this is the key of A flat, and let's move on to the next key.